Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau got married in August 2015 after four years of dating, only to pull the plug on their wedding bliss two years later, much to the surprise of fans. Here's the real reason why one of the most famous couples in Hollywood headed for Splitsville. A source told E! News that despite their mutual penchant for wearing black, at the end of the day, Jennifer Aniston and Justin Thoreau are simply from two different worlds. The anonymous source revealed, Jennifer and Justin fell in love hard and fast, and yet they were never really suited to one another. The initial chemistry between them made it easy for them to ignore their differences in incompatibility. He is more nomadic, more of a free spirit, he's rugged and urban, and Jennifer just isn't that kind of person. Look at yourself. Why would anyone ever want to be with you? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, really. Oh, yeah. Perhaps because I'm rich." Insiders also claimed that Thoreau partying with edgy New Yorkers was a minus for Aniston, and that Thoreau may have gotten too close with artist Petra Collins while Aniston was home in Los Angeles. A source told The Sun, "...the reality is he's been partying with all sorts of people in New York and couldn't have looked less like a married man. He's been pretty much living in New York full-time and growing close to other people, so it was only a matter of time. He's a quirky character with very diverse interests. The reality is Jen just doesn't fit in. She's a homegirl who likes cozy nights in with friends. He wants to feel cutting edge and different. A source revealed to People magazine that hectic schedules allegedly played a role in the couple's demise. The insider told the publication, "...for years, even before they married, they compromised and did their own thing. It has involved long separations, especially for their work demands." It's true that their schedules were particularly grueling. After Thoreau wrapped up work on The Leftovers, he did voice work for the Lego Ninjago movie, appeared in Star Wars The Last Jedi, filmed three more movies, and signed on for the TV show Maniac. Meanwhile, Aniston starred in The Yellowbirds, filmed Dumplin', and signed on to an Apple TV project with Reese Witherspoon titled The Morning Show. A source told Radar Online, "...Jen's proud of Justin's work, but she'd be lying if she said she wasn't looking forward to the end of his HBO series The Leftovers, which has relocated to Australia for its third season." The insider also claimed, "...after Justin told her bosses were leaving a door open should HBO want another series, Jen flipped out. It would have been better if he could have gotten a serious movie career off the ground, as that only involves him being away for six weeks instead of six months." Jennifer Aniston often gets painted as the victim of man-stealing Angelina Jolie, but it turns out that she may have been a homewrecker herself. Before shacking up with Aniston in 2011, Justin Thoreau had been in a live-in relationship with stylist Heidi Bivens for 14 years. Bivens' mother told Radar Online, "...Heidi told me what Justin had told her after they broke up, that something was going to be written about him and Jennifer, that something was going on between them, and he wanted her to know that it was nothing, there was nothing to it. Out of his own mouth, he told my daughter there was nothing to the news he was was involved with Jennifer. According to an anonymous source, Aniston did try to mend fences with Bivens. The insider revealed to Grazia magazine, "...Jen told Heidi that she understands what a painful time she has been going through and explained that she wanted her to know, hand on heart, that she would never steal another woman's man." Jennifer Aniston's womb has been a constant source of media scrutiny since her days as Mrs. Brad Pitt and her marriage to Justin Thoreau brought out even more tabloid hawks. That reportedly devastated Aniston, likely adding to tension within the marriage. "...You're pregnant?" No, not yet, but I'm working on it." In a blistering op-ed for the Huffington Post in July 2016, Aniston wrote, "...I may become a mother someday, but I'm not in pursuit of motherhood because I feel incomplete in some way. I resent being made to feel less than because my body is changing and or I had a burger for lunch and was photographed from a weird angle and therefore deemed one of two things, pregnant or fat." Not to mention the painful awkwardness that comes with being congratulated by friends, coworkers, and strangers alike on one's fictional pregnancy, often a dozen times in a single day. Unfortunately, her op-ed didn't necessarily help. As Aniston told Vogue in August 2017, "...I think the problem is the tabloids and the gossip columns taking the human body and putting it in a category. They're either fat-shaming or body-shaming or childless-shaming. I have worked too hard in this life and this career to be whittled down to a sad, childless human." No one says you have to love all of your spouse's friends, but in light of the hashtag MeToo and Time's Up movements, Aniston was allegedly even more frustrated with Thoreau's bro brood than ever before, in part because of the old adage, "...you are a product of the company you keep." A source told E! News that Aniston's friendship group was, quote, "...small and consisted of people that she intimately trusted." According to a Radar Online insider, the actress was, quote, "...really freaked out by all of the harassment stories around Hollywood and that led to a reality check when it comes to Justin and his oddball buddies like Terry Richardson, Danny Masterson, and even Louis C.K. As the Me Too movement unfolded, Richardson, Masterson, and C.K. were all accused of some form of sexual misconduct or sexual assault, though only C.K. admitted to guilt. The source also alleged, 
These are all guys Justin seriously respected, but Jen's demanding he have no association with them going forward. Justin likes to play up his edgy street cred and his cool New York friends, but this is way more controversial than Jen would like, especially when she's dealing with her big corporate sponsors like Smartwater or production partners like Apple. Insiders claim Jennifer Aniston was often jealous of Justin Theroux's interactions with other women, especially on set, which, given the history of Brangelina, would be pretty understandable for her. A source told Radar Online that Theroux had gotten close to co-star Emma Stone while filming Maniac, revealing, Justin can be pretty flirtatious when Jen's not around. Right now, there's more friction than trust between Justin and Jen. In Touch magazine served up more of the same, reporting that a source had revealed to the publication, every time Thoreau does actually get time off and manages to come to the same city, he hangs out with everybody but Aniston. Jen has grown incredibly jealous. His friendships with women have been one of the couple's chief problems. Others point to Thoreau having problems grappling with Aniston's past relationships, particularly a certain guy by the name of Brad Pitt. Us Weekly reported that the Friends actress kept mementos from her romance with her former flame, and according to the magazine's sources, those keeps sakes rubbed Thoreau the wrong way. An insider revealed to Us Weekly, he stumbled upon old post-it notes Brad had written, sweet little post-its like, you looked nice tonight or miss you already. Jen assured him they weren't a big deal, but Justin wasn't thrilled. Justin had moments of insecurity like that. Frankly, this is the kind of stuff plenty of couples try to work through, but doing so in the spotlight may have proved too much for this pair. The media attention that surrounds all things Jennifer Aniston may have hurt the marriage. As a source revealed to E! News, Justin Thoreau reportedly hated the extra attention. The insider alleged, he fell in love with Jennifer so it was something he came to accept. Everyone around him knew it wasn't really who he was. Thoreau touched on the topic with the New York Times in 2018. Though the actor and his ex-wife have remained very tight-lipped about their relationship, Thoreau did touch on the highly publicized divorce during his interview, saying, "...the good news is that was probably the most I'm choosing my words really carefully. It was kind of the most gentle separation in that there was no animosity. In a weird way, just sort of navigating the inevitable perception of it is the exhausting part. These are actually, in reality, small events that take place, but everything can feel like 10 on the Richter scale if you make the headline big enough and salacious enough. When news broke that Angelina Jolie was divorcing Aniston's ex-husband, Brad Pitt, Radar Online reported that Justin Theroux grew to resent the paparazzi even more. One insider told the publication Theroux even felt used by his wife, revealing, "...the moment this divorce news was announced, it was all about calculating Aniston's next public appearance and timing it in a way that would embarrass Brad and Angie. Justin hates this, being dragged around like a pawn in her PR game. It's a huge source of tension." A source also accused Theroux of leaving Aniston to fend for herself at the Golden Globes in January 2018, telling In Touch magazine, "...Jen was absolutely lost without Thoreau. He knew Angie would be there, and he picked the worst time to not support his wife. It would be the worst kind of public humiliation because she and Justin have put on such a united front about being one of the happiest couples in Hollywood." As soon as both Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were both back on the market, the rumor mill went wild with reconciliation rumors. In December 2017, a source told In Touch magazine that Pitt reached out to Aniston in the wake of his own split. The anonymous insider claimed, Brad's conversations with Jen have helped him negotiate his new life as he's getting divorced. He feels a deep connection with her. Brad would take a second chance at love with Jen in a heartbeat. When news of Aniston's split broke, a source told In Touch that the actress supposedly confided in Pitt about all the missteps and problems in the relationship with Justin Thoreau, and Brad provided the calming words that she needed to hear. But don't get your hopes up for some sort of romantic sequel between these two. A source told People magazine that Aniston and Pitt have become totally different people than who they once were when they were together. They broke up, and they did it because they had serious issues. They're not stupid. They remember why it didn't work. They've been over each other for longer than they were ever together. It is such ancient history." Jennifer Aniston and Justin Theroux allegedly sought professional help to get their marriage back on track, but it was apparently all for naught. A source revealed to Us Weekly Aniston and Theroux had been in couples counseling long before they married. They tried to work through issues relating to their very different lifestyles, communication, and of course the New York City versus Los Angeles living arrangement. You can't express your feelings by sending a letter through a fax machine. Though the counseling did not preserve their union, it may have helped immeasurably with the uncoupling. According to the Us Weekly Insider, the counseling has been a huge factor in how Jen is dealing with the breakup. She feels that she truly gave it her best effort. There isn't anger, but rather a deep sadness from Jen that the marriage is ending. It just came down to the realization that the issues were never going to change. Jen is at peace with it. You see how therapy works? I mean, it's like a, it's like a Swiss clock. That's fabulous. You don't need therapy anymore. We're finished. 
Thoreau echoed that sentiment, telling the New York Times that while splitting up was heartbreaking, he doesn't regret the relationship. The actor told the publication, "...the friendship is shifting and changing, you know? So that part is something that we're both very proud of." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.